Hey, Uncle Jesse, how many things can I print with one bottle of resin? Well, honestly, I'm not entirely sure. So today, we're gonna dig right in and figure that out. But first, a quick word from today's video sponsor. This video is sponsored by the folks over at Elgu. We're gonna be printing with the Elgu Saturn, which is an amazing mid-size 4K monoscreen resin 3D printer, as well as the Mars 2 Pro. Both sport mono screens, which enable you to print a whole lot faster than on standard screen displays. We're gonna be running a number of the tests with the Elgu ABS like gray resin as well as their washable gray resin. All the prints are also gonna be cleaned off and cured in Elgu's wash and cure two-in-one station. If you're interested in more information on any of the products that I'm featuring in today's video, you will find links down below. A huge thank you to Elgu again for sponsoring today's video. And by the way, if you are interested in the Elgu Saturn, make sure to keep a close eye out on the Elgu Amazon shop because new units are showing up almost daily. So the amount of things that you can run off and print with one bottle of resin is going to completely vary based on what you're looking to print, how many you're looking to print of it, uh, the settings that you're working with, and most importantly, what printers you're working with and the build volumes that those can support. And I figured the easiest way for me to break this up is to just think logically of what I enjoy printing and what a lot of you out there enjoy printing with resin printers. And the first of those is here on the Mars 2 Pro. I'm gonna be printing as many miniatures as I possibly can. I ended up picking up the Dice Heads miniatures Kickstarter campaign files over on my mini factory for a cool 20 bucks. This includes over 100 pre-supported miniatures as well as individual bases for each of those figures. Uh, they also come pre-hollowed and again, supported, which is gonna just save me a huge amount of time when it comes <laughs> to prepping as many of those miniatures as I possibly can here on the Elgu Mars 2 Pro. Well, when it comes to the Elgu Saturn, we have a bit of a bigger build volume, so I'm thinking I'm gonna be printing some more replica props related things, as well as some more bus and other figures type things there, maybe a variety of smaller things as well, and see how far we can get with one bottle of resin. So again, it's gonna be one bottle per machine, not combined there, that would maybe be cheating or just defeating the purpose of this. So we'll really be able to see what we're gonna be able to get with one versus the other. First, let's take a look at all of the miniatures that I was able to print on the Elgu Mars 2 Pro. Again, these were made by Dice Heads as part of their Kickstarter campaign that's available on my mini factory. Depending on which files I was printing, it took about three to four hours for each of the print jobs to be completed. And again, they're all pre-supported and hollowed, which saved me a ton of time when it came to actually getting these prepped and ready. You'll also be able to see here a print time comparison between the Vroom settings, which I just recently did a video on where it allows you to print a whole lot faster at 240 lift speeds versus the standard print settings that saved me a good chunk of time when it came to printing all of these. And speaking of, I was able to print 36 of these miniatures out of the set of 100, that's not bad. And I also was able to print about, uh, I think it was about 25 different bases that each of the figures can stand on. I should have printed more because I still have some resin left over, but I wasn't entirely sure how much I had left and if I had enough to print off a few more of those bases or not. I did not want to screw up the FEP sheet or my screen at all in this process. Now let's take a look at the Elgu Saturn and the prints that I was able to get off of this with one bottle of resin. First up is the Dark Saber kit by Hex 3D. This is available over on his Patreon. This was a seven hour print and I actually ended up having a print failure the first go around with this due to me not properly supporting some of the files and thankfully I don't think I lost too much resin because of that failed supported print. Uh, I also did not hollow out any of the files because I wanted them really nice and solid and sturdy and have some weight to them when I actually go about finishing these files. I ended up scaling down the file to 85% of the original size since the original just seemed to be really large and I think this is a perfect fit for me. Uh, I also have not really done any assembling of this in, in terms of gluing everything in place. It's more or less just dry fitted here. And I noticed that I am missing a few other files to print with this. So I'm gonna have to run off and print those, but they're really, really small pieces here. So I'm not too concerned about that and missing it here on the initial print run. Uh, I'm also excited to run off and print the holder for this as well. This will be a really fun follow-up project that I'd like to run off and finish. The file is really nicely designed and I think the results from the printer came out great. 
The next thing I went off and printed was this Doctor Doom bust by Eastman. Hopefully you saw the new YouTube Shorts video, which is a under 60 second little teaser video that I made on Saturday for this particular video. This again was hollowed out and had some really wonderful ASMR-like support removal within that video. This ridiculously nice Doctor Doom bust was made by none other than Eastman himself. Again, his Patreon link as well as so all the other files are listed down below. Now the next print is something that you can really only get away with printing on a resin 3D printer. And that's this unbelievably detailed Walking Phoenix Joker bust by Sid Naku. This was printed in two pieces on the Saturn, hollowed out again to help save on some of the resin. There were supports that ran all the way through that as well. And it's printed at 0 0.05 millimeter layer height. And again, the details on this are amazing, absolutely stunning. His files that he designs are just on another level of realistic and does these a beautiful, beautiful character studies. So if you're interested in printing one of these for yourself or seeing what other files that he has over on his Patreon, I'll have links down below to that. You'll definitely be seeing some more of these. I don't know if I'll ever get around to painting this because it is so intimidating <laughs> because it's it looks like a legit statue that you'd find in a shop or online or somewhere that someone has mar magnificently sculpted. So I ended up having a little bit of resin left, but not too much, which allowed me to run off and print two sets of 48 skulls. That's right, 96 miniature skulls here <laughs> that I was able to run off and print. And again, I still have just a tiny bit of resin left over. Uh, I don't think nearly enough to print another full set of these and I don't wanna screw up my screen or anything like that by risking that. So what am I gonna do with all these miniature skulls? I have no idea. Maybe I'll work them into some upcoming project or a diorama or something along those lines. But it was pretty fun to run off and see that printed. And I think all but maybe one printed successfully. So that was, uh, that was great to see there on the Saturn with pretty much a full build plate full of these particular files. All right, so this next part is the thing that I've been really interested in seeing. So we have everything printed and laid out on the two different lunch trays. Let's weigh them out and see how that compares to what we printed versus the actual support and all the other wasted materials. All right, first up is the minis. Let's get this on here and see how much that weighs. One pound and 8.2 ounces. And one thing that we haven't taken a look at is the wasted material. This is all the supports and any failed prints that I might have had along the way, which was one pound, two ounces. Now let's take a look at the Saturn prints and what those weighed. Two pounds, 5.2 ounces. And for the support material and the failed prints, that's one pound, 2.2 ounces. So it's just really interesting to see that I feel like I've got a little bit better utilization out of the Saturn with some of these larger prints than I did with the mini and all of the, the miniatures there. And again, I think some of this might have come down to, I was running so many prints compared to the Saturn on the Mars 2 Pro that when it came to actually removing the prints, I was probably getting some excess resin with it by not letting it fully drip out. When I was cleaning those off, some of that was coming off there where I wasn't maybe utilizing all of the resin that was available in the vat when it came to the minis. I still printed a lot, 36 minis and what was that, 25 bases is a lot of miniatures to be able to print with one bottle. And I still have a little bit left over in there. So maybe I could have gotten away with printing those extra bases versus not now that I'm thinking about it. So hopefully this gives you a better idea of how many things you can run off and 3D print with one bottle of resin, all depending on which machine that you're working with. If you're interested again in any of the files that I've shown off in today's video, you'll find links down below to those. Huge thank you to Elgu again for sponsoring today's video and a big shout out to all of my Patreon supporters. I'm working on a new way to distribute and share all of my resin 3 printer settings, including support settings for all of my patrons. So stay tuned for that because I'll be sharing that with everyone here in the next week or so. Hey, thanks again for watching you guys. Hopefully this was helpful. And if you did enjoy this, make sure to hit the like button down below and let me know what you might be interested in me 3D printing next. Hey, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now.